I realized I never really do like an introduction in these videos, um, partially because I, I don't know what to say. And I've heard like all these different theories on what you should and shouldn't say and I don't want to overthink it, so. Hi! Um, <laughs> I was in here for a very long time yesterday. I was, yeah, I was working on all the stuff you saw and then, um, I was editing the video and then um, my siblings and I do like a weekly FaceTime call and so I just took that on the computer um, and the chair that I usually sit in is not comfortable at all so I switched out you can see the top of this chair and the dejected reject in the corner but um this is just like a dining chair we had. The only thing is I can't like fully pull it in to the desk because the good old electric music thing, it's the feet of it is like a tripod. So one of the feet sticks out and is in the way of me fully pushing this chair in. But we'll make it work. And I think I'm going to start designing for a commission. Um, I still haven't figured out the last sticker I want to put on one of the bullet journal sheets. So put that in the back of my head, work on other stuff, and that will come to me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to drawing. finished that design at least like the basics of it um she sent me a couple different color palettes and I kind of pulled from all of them <laughs> um with like flowers and things like that well actually what am I saying in any kind of color palette I skew away from like pinks and purples myself which is also why I think it's funny that like the main color palette that I use for my own stickers has pink in it um I'm warming up to it but I go for more like peachy like blush tones um so yeah I sent off what I had and asked if she liked it if she wanted to change any colors or anything like that um i like how it turned out i'm not very good at drawing flowers and stuff so again this was a stretch for me but i really like the like composition of it and how it turned out um for this commission it has text over it um but i might still use the background flowers for something for myself and it might end up in the shop as well um because i think it would look really cute in my new bullet journal i really want to format this new journal i have like the basic um pages like 
labeled of what I'm gonna put on each page. This is what it looks like. It's a like traveler size, so compared to like the planner I use now, it's a little bit smaller, um, which I like. And it's it's less intimidating to me to like fill it all and make it look pretty and everything. So I have that and I really want to set it up and use my new stickers in it to have like examples to show but I want that to be its own video and everything I guess I could just like record it early so I have it done but I'm trying to hold off um, and I might I have another journal that has just a bunch of random stuff in it that I can make mock layouts in that to test them. So yeah, I really like how this sticker turned out. She asked for some other stickers too, but um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, she asked for other stickers too, but they are like quotes and stuff and they're pretty long. So, I mean, I, it's doable. I will, I will do it. I'll work on it, but it's just a little intimidating right this second to <laughs> try to do it. Um, and I want to get some feedback on this first design to see if we are both heading in the right direction. So, I'm back to working on bullet journal stuff. Um, this is another thing that looks super simple, but has taken me forever to accomplish. I'm liking how it's going. Um, I'm just making like mini calendar stickers. And you saw the blank one already. Now I'm just like filling them in with the numbers. Originally I was going to hand write it, but I didn't like how I was looking and I want something a little more uniform because the whole point, I mean, yeah, with my stickers, I'm doing like hand lettered stuff, but with things like calendars and stuff like this, like stickers help make it look neater and my handwriting does not look neat. So I'm just typing it, but still like formatting it all and making sure everything's centered and right and I'm sure there's an easier way to do this than what I'm doing but I'm already this far in. <laughs> I'm just finishing up my eighth month. I originally started them in order but then some months are exactly the same so I just have to change the name on it or like take off the 31st stuff like that. So um making progress slowly but surely i already did a quick layout to see what i could fit on these smaller sheets because i'm trying to make as many bullet journal stickers on these sheets just so it's a little bit more uniform there's one sticker that i already know won't fit so i'm going to keep working on this and I'll check back with you in a little bit. I got all the calendars finished and I was originally trying to put them on sheets like this but I was only gonna put like six months and six months so it'd technically be two sheets but there was just a lot of extra space and for something like this there isn't really anything to add to it I feel like. Um, because even if I did add something on one of them, then I wouldn't know what to put on the other one. Anyway, I put them on my like regular size sheet, like a this size sheet, um, and it fits nicely and it looks good. Um, I'll just, so I'll do one of like all 12 months and then I'll also offer like a full sheet of each month in case you want to do like 
use these for habit trackers and stuff like that or um, have a filled in calendar on each weekly spread kind of thing so I'll make a sheet of ones that have the name of the months on them and then I'll make a sheet that the top is blank so you can write in like the habits that you are tracking if that makes sense if you know what I mean all right so just printed off two sheets of the calendars I like the size of them and everything again they're really simple so it's not like I'm gonna mess with the design of it or anything because it's just calendars but I like them um they did cut a little off but I'm not gonna stress about getting that to work right now I just wanted to make sure that these were a good size and looked nice printed out so here's what they look like they're just basic calendars but I printed them on my white sticker paper that I use for my other sticker sheets and stuff so it's also good that I did it this size because then you kind of know what to expect from them but I figured um, since these are pretty plain and if you wanted to color like the header of them like where the month is or if you wanted to fill in each day, like cross off each day, like for a habit tracker, I figured it'd be easier to do it on like regular paper versus this clear paper is kind of, I mean, I have the matte paper, but I just feel like it would smear a lot more. So I'm liking how this stuff is turning out. I still don't know what I'm doing for that last gap on the, let's see what else is on that page, I don't even remember, oh, the month titles. Um, I don't want to be like super cliche, um, I mean everything else I'm doing is pretty basic, so simple. Not like, you know, okay. Um, so I don't really want, I just, I don't know what I want. That's the problem. And then I still need to come up with another sheet to go on this test sheet. Cause I, this sheet only has two right now. It has the days of the week and then the months. And I don't know what to do for the last one. And I already know another sheet that's going to be this size that I'm going to do. Like I said earlier, it has a certain sticker on it that's going to be pretty big. So maybe I'll work on that sheet. Um, so I just designed completely new washi <laughs> um i used the flowers from that commission i knew i wanted to make something with them i'll probably make more with them even too but i made some washi tape with them and i did it i did one layout and then three different color variations and it was just printing but the printer has stopped halfway through it says on here now that it's paused. Can I resume it? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, uh, I was so excited because I was like, yeah, I'll just make new washi. And then like the next clip I'll show you, it's like, bam, look, new washi. And now the printer is acting weird. And I'm doing it from the laptop because I've never had problems printing from this laptop. Now the printer doesn't want to work with either computer. So 
that's fun. So I ended up canceling the print. Um, and it did print out like the first one, basically what it had already printed before it stopped. Um, but then before I knew it, it was just reprinting it again. So I did end up printing a full sheet. Um, my favorite one digitally is my least favorite one printed. <laughs> um, I still like it, but the colors are definitely lighter printed, especially on this kind of paper, which I'm still like, getting used to. Um, but I'm still going to cut it, obviously, and it will get used by either me or someone else. But I want to see what it looks like on paper before I go in and change it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. All right. So here are the washi tapes. Um, it's hard to see where the lines are, but there are lines. <laughs> um, this one is the one I'm having problems with and I want to change. These two turned out really good and I like them um, and have good contrast. This one, this orange is too similar to the background so it kind of blends in and then this blue is too close to the green so those kind of just blend into each other. And then this purple is also too faded for my liking. So, and I like the purple is very similar to this one, but I like it as the background here. I don't like it for the flowers here. So I think I'm going to change this one up, but I will show you what they look like on paper. So I'm going to pull out my planner and just get a blank page. I've used this planner very on and off, um, but I like it and it's a good like design inspiration for me. I got it more for reference than to actually use. So that's from, it's still kind of hard to see because I'm losing natural light, but this little part right here is that blue and this is the leaf. Um, I'm trying to see where else I can do a good comparison of the two. I mean, this is the main sheet that I want to test. Here's another one from that sheet. Sorry about that. So like the contrast does show up better once it's on paper, but I still feel like they're too similar. This is that orange I was talking about and compared to the background. Let's get one with the purple. Again, it does show up better here, but I think it's a little too light still. So, let's look at some of the other ones. This is with the blue background one. You cannot see that at all. Yeah, I'm liking that one. So yeah, this this sheet needs some work, but I like this one and this one. So, like I said, I'm losing daylight. Well, it's, there's no more daylight. Um, it's getting kind of late. Um, I would like to fix that washi sheet now, but I'm going to save it for tomorrow. I need to stop. Um... I got a head start on working on all this stuff. Like, I wasn't planning on working on it for another few weeks at least. So, I have the time to take it slower. And I don't need to rush this. I just get so excited. 
Um, but I'm gonna stop. And that's where I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.